All eyes are on Democratic candidate for Texas Governor Wendy Davis after she revealed some deeply personal details in the heat of her campaign. Davis's upcoming memoir, Forgetting to be Afraid, touches on two abortions she had before embarking on her political career. In the memoir, Davis says she terminated a pregnancy after discovering the fetus had a brain defect. She recalls the doctor stopping the heart of the baby and then removing it via C-section. She also says she went through an ectopic pregnancy, a pregnancy which causes the embryo to implant outside of the uterus. An ectopic pregnancy is dangerous for for the mother and leaves little chance of survival for the child. But the termination of these pregnancies is still considered abortion under Texas law and doctors must report them as such. It's worth mentioning some media outlets are only referencing one abortion in their headlines, choosing not to classify the termination of the ectopic pregnancy as an abortion, while others are noting them both. The big question here is why Davis chose to share these personal details at this particular moment, just a couple of months from Election Day. Although we didn't know the issue of abortion touched quite so close to home for Davis, the candidate has certainly taken a strong stance to make the practice safe and legal in Texas. Last year, Davis became a national political figure after waging a 11-hour filibuster that forced Texas legislators to open an entirely new special session to pass a bill restricting abortions in the state. The new details released by Davis might simply be meant to humanize the candidate. At least that's how her campaign seems to be framing this. After releasing the memoir excerpt, her team posted on her Facebook page, like so many of us, Wendy Davis struggled to pay the bills, raise a child on her own, and get an education. She also discusses a great tragedy her family has suffered. And she tweeted, My story is one of great joy and tragedy, familiar to millions of Texans who overcome challenges because they have dreams for their children. And although it's easy to imagine conservative outrage at Davis's story, so far reaction has been quite nuanced. The Christian Post seems sympathetic and noted Davis's pain description of that time in her life when she says she felt, quote, a deep, dark despair and grief, a heavy wave that crushed me. But of course, there is a more cynical political explanation for why Davis is releasing this information now. With the Democrat trailing her opponent significantly, some pundits believe this information will help her at the polls and that Davis's campaign knows that. People who are supporting Wendy, Wendy Davis because she's pro-choice, obviously they're going to stay, they're, they're going to stay with her. I don't think, you know, people who are pro-life, pro they'll, 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 they'll sympathize but, with her, but I don't think they're, they're it's not going to gain her but, extra votes. But, Davis's opponent, Greg Abbott, hasn't said much since this release, but did issue a statement saying, the unspeakable pain of losing a child is beyond tragic for any parent. As a father, I grieve for the Davis family and for the loss of life. This week's polls have shown Abbott leading Davis by 18 points. For Newsy, I'm Madison Burke.